Okay, the weather report said cloudy all tonight and most of tomorrow from what I could tell. So cloudy is great. When it gets sunny out here, it's just too hot up here. So I um, took the screws out, rolled it back, and to my surprise, I had went over halfway when we did this half. So now it's just from there to there. I've already removed the shingles up there. So I'm gonna remove these. Then I'll um, sweep it all off, replace any boards I need to and re-nail it. And then, depending on what time it is, I'm gonna start pulling screws down here and who knows. I don't know how far I'll get, but I'm gonna keep going, it's going well. Um, it is later in the day though, so I'm probably not gonna get that one done, but at least I can get the screws mostly out. You know, all of them except for maybe that ridge right there. And who knows, maybe even pull it back and clean it off. I mean, once I get it clean, re-nailing does take some time, but, I, you know, I wouldn't have to screw them all back in tonight. I could just screw a few in and come back up tomorrow. I do need to remember to bring some aluminum nails up and nail that drip edge along there. It was screwed in. I had done it from the other side, or from when I was working on that side, but... I need to put a few nails in there to hold it while I'm working here. Okay, let's keep going. Let's fill another bag and re-nail this. These boards all look really good. There was no shingles up here, and that's the way they look. The shingles started right here, the half lap, and went down. You can see it's pretty shoddy. It was really bad when they had replaced this. Well, maybe they tore some off. I mean, maybe they took some off, but not all. I don't know. But um, I'm getting them all off and repairing the boards and renailing. Okay. And I'm rolling it back. I and mean, if you didn't watch the other video, the reason I'm doing it this way, because they ran that rubber caulking down through. I don't know if it's a butyl rubber, but you cannot get these panels apart. So. I'm just pulling it and rolling it back. And that's how I did the other half, is I rolled them this way. So now we're rolling them the other way. I did mark my over, my um, ridge cap here, so hopefully I can hit those same holes on both sides. And I don't want any new holes in it. But that, um, that rubberized you know, caulking or whatever, man, it holds. And I'm sure they did it because this is a low slope. I wonder what it is. I'll have to um, figure out what it is, but I'm guessing it's like a two pitch, maybe only a 1.5. And you can see how far the water had come up. This is over a foot. This is like a 16th overlap. And you can see how far water marks came up. So. I mean, look at this one. They didn't make it. You know, they didn't they didn't compromise the roof, but they came up a long way. So low slopes. These guys were um, I have to admit they were smart in doing what they did. I was surprised, to be honest with you, I didn't plan on doing it this way. I thought I would take a sheet off at a time. But um, actually this is working better. Okay, let's um Get these off, clean up all the nails, get the broom, sweep it up, and then we'll start nailing.